All right, hi everyone. Welcome to the stream. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is over there. Um, nobody is actually watching right now, which doesn't surprise me because I don't usually stream at this time. Uh, the reason I'm streaming right now is because my sleeping pattern has been like kind of thrown out of whack. That happens once in a while. I'm just in the process of readjusting it. So for the next few streams, I might be streaming earlier than usual if I end up streaming at all. I kind of want to do some more Spyro. I've not played this since, um, when did I last play this? Almost a week ago, actually. About, like, I don't know, four or five days ago, I had to guess. But, yeah, it's been a little while, and I want to get back into some more Spyro, so I'm just going to do that. Not really expect... Like, I'm just talking to myself at the moment because nobody's here, but this is going to go up on YouTube later anyway. As in, the VOD will go... Like, the, the VOD will be uploaded after the fact. So if you're watching the VOD version of this, hello and welcome to the VOD. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're fi feeling fine. Don't forget, kids, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell. You fucks. That's my really bad attempt at being funny. I know, I'm, I'm not a comedian. I, shocking, I know. <laughs> right, okay then, so I did the first several levels of this game, I like Spyro 2, I like it a lot, I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, not a whole lot has changed in terms of mechanics, but I do like the additional little hover that you can do at the end of your glide. That's kind of a nice little addition. I'm guessing there'll be more mechanics as you, as you like play the game, because... I think I learned how to swim, and I think you can unlock the ability to climb ladders or something. So, when I say there's not a whole lot of difference mechanically between the first and the second games, that's probably because I'm only just starting. I guess, I guess once I get some more abilities, probably from like money bags or something, I will start to see a lot more depth to the gameplay. Not that there wasn't depth there to begin with, but. You know, with a sequel, you have to like add some stuff to make it more interesting and not just more of the same, or too much of the same. But yeah, um, how about that one fucking jump that I missed? Like, I, I was, I spent like five fucking hours trying to get to one part of the level so I could get the last ten gems, and then I missed the jump because I phased through the entire bloody like metallic block platform. And promptly died, and I was like, yeah, no, no thanks, I don't feel like going back up there again. Because it takes, like, a lot of effort just to get to that one point, just to do that one jump. How do I dive in this game again? Oh, wait, you can't dive in this water. And now is the awkward part where I try to remember how you play this game. Where's the... is it... wait, is... Where is this place exactly? I'm trying to look for the place with like the deep water so I can remember how you swim. Oh yeah, it's this part, isn't it? I think. No. Uh, let's see what... Um, I, I forgot what her name was, the goat girl. I want to see what she has to say right now. Elora. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit, actually. Right. Okay. So. Remember, press the jump button, then press. How do I do the glide again? The hover thing. Hang on. Right, okay, it's the X button. Just double checking. Just getting re familiarized with the controls again because I haven't played this in almost a week. I think this was the part where you could dive underwater. I'm just going to figure out. Right, okay, it's the Y button for diving. That's good to know. Right, okay then, so what should I do next? See if I can find a new level for a start. What levels have I done so far? Let's have done these ones. Hey there, MSP. See, people are starting to come into the stream now. And hi there, uh, Green Yoshi guy. Uh, 
there's a, uh, a what do you call those things like a big banner I think is what you call those things of like uh, Riptor Shit. I was going to try to land on that door and see if I could jump up there. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing it like that. Does the minimap show where I'm supposed to be going right now? Oh, wait a minute. Idol Springs, have I been there yet? Uh, no, I've not. Right, okay then. So Idol Springs it is. You'll be able to watch Spyro, but not the other game. Fair enough. I'm sure most people that are going to be watching me stream today want to watch me play Spyro. Hypnospace Outlaw, the game I'm going to be playing after this, is going to be a weird one. Admittedly, I don't even know that much about it outside of, like, seeing little bits of, like, Vinny play it. Like, he played it about two years ago, a year and a half ago. But I don't really know that much outside that it's like a very weird like vaporwave browser game. Which even like describing it like that is kind of weird because it kind of leaves a lot to the imagination. But yeah, I'll, that, I'll be checking that out soon. I was going to stream that yesterday, but I was too tired to like do that and Fortnite Season 4. So I couldn't really do both. Again, I love these little like cartoony opening and closing cinematics for each level. It adds a lot of like personality to the levels. Locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. Oh yeah, you need a key for that, don't you? Or or he can just break off from for me. That works too. Let me tell you something, adding swimming to this game really opens it up a whole lot more for collectathoning purposes. I didn't even know Spyro had like swimming in it, like the second game, and, and I'm assuming the third game as well also has swimming mechanics. But yeah, once I unlocked the ability to swimming, I was like, fuck yeah, this is going to make the game so much better. And it was already great to begin with. locked in here with all our tools and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us the first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow if you have trouble come back and talk to me okay i think i know what kind of puzzle this is yep it's one of these puzzles you hit the blocks to change the adjacent ones well, let's see i think you do this and then you do this Minimum four moves. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Meet him at the pond? Right, okay. Don't know what that is, but I'll go look for it. Can I breathe under... Like, can I breathe fire underwater? No, I guess you need to get that power up that I got the last time I streamed this to do that. I was gonna, like, try and fucking fry the fish, but I can't doesn't work. Wait, is that the dude? This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Flame fish? Oh, you can use the flame underwater? How do you do that? Or do I have to get... Oh, okay. Okay, so it doesn't like red fish. Blue fish? Okay, blue and yellow fish. Simple enough.
One more. One more. One more that isn't a red, please. There we go. Easy. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Colored stones, okay then. All that for just an orb, I guess. If they can get to the doors. I finished that a lot faster than you. You're kind of a smooth brain when it comes to puzzles. Yeah, some some I mean you watched me play Origami King and how bad I am when it comes to like solving the ring combat system. But it's, there's just like some puzzles that have been so ingrained into my memory at this point that I know how like instantly how to do them. And that's a puzzle I've seen in like many games. Like that thing with the hitting the adjacent tiles. Can't seem to talk to that dudes. Oh, right, metal shield. Like, shit like Resident Evil, where there's just, like, a lot of puzzle things, like, those kind of things, like, I guess help. Because they, like, why, why do I keep... Like, it's obvious what I'm supposed to be doing, but I keep doing, like, the same mistake. I guess that's what happens when I start talking. I don't I don't focus. Give me that sausage. There we go. Nope, nothing over there. The slide puzzle in RE4. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that one wasn't my favourite. Metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. I like how she tells me that after I figure that out and then fail again on the second enemy of the exact same variant. Oops, I like with the charge button there a little bit too early. Oh, so I have 11 lives already. I don't think lives are going to be a problem in this game, pretty much like the first Spyro. So did I pass by that dude that was talking about like the coloured blocks, or is that still to come? Just making sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, this is the part he was talking about. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Uh, okay, then we'll just basically brute force it. Actually, maybe maybe not brute force. Maybe there's like some indication as to what I'm supposed to do, or not. I don't know, I'll just brute force it, fuck it. Let's... What? Before we continue with this, is there a visual clue somewhere that shows you the sequence? Because the, it probably will be somewhere nearby. We'll come back to that. I mean, I could brute force it, but it'll probably take me way longer than just, like, looking for the solution elsewhere. Which there probably is, and I just don't know where it is yet. 
just haven't seen it. Got to remember it's not the A button that does the hover thing. It's the X button. One thing I love about the Spyro games is that when you, like, get the gems out of, like, chests or, like, uh, pots or whatever, they, like, automatically get drawn towards you so you don't have to, like, linger around and wait to, for them to be collected, so I like that. So I watched that uh, game thing, what was it, the Gamescom uh, live thing that they did last night with like Jeff Keighley. Honestly, I was kind of bored. I didn't watch it last night because, let me, let me finish that thought in a second, see where this goes and what it does. Guess I'm going to have to go down there and collect all that. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, I was kind of bored just watching that uh, Gamescom live thing, to be honest. Like, I was really tired when I watched, uh, when, I, when I streamed Fortnite last night, and I was like, I went to bed early because I'm, like, readjusting my sleeping pattern at the moment. So, I was watching the Gamescom thing while I was in bed, like, I was watching it on my phone. I was watching the pre-stream, the, the pre-show thing, where they had, like, what was that guy called again? Kyle Bossman, like some guy from who, who used to work at Game Trailers, but I, th I think he works. I forgot the name of the YouTube channel, but he works on a, diff a different YouTube thing now. But yeah, he was like doing the pre show thing, and I like kind of fell asleep within the first five minutes, so I'm not sure if that was because I was like genuinely like, exhausted or if it was just because he was that boring. But yeah, I woke up today early this morning and I watched the rest of the pre-show and the actual show itself. I did a lot of skipping forwards during that because there was a lot of things that kind of bored me and were either things that I already knew existed because they, they had a lot of world premieres but they also had a lot of like updates on existing game, games we already, already knew about. So there wasn't that many major reveals in all honesty so it wasn't it wasn't really worth streaming and I'm glad I didn't stream it. That said, there was a couple good things. We got, like, I got to see what Little Nightmares 2 looks like. I'm gonna pick that game up. Little Nightmares 1, I streamed about a year ago, a year, two years ago. I forgot when I did it, but it was like, it was a Halloween game. So it was probably like last October. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might know how to do this. Wait, sorry, my bad. Speaking of smooth braining. Nope. I forgot which ones I've already pressed. Like, I know the first one is the circle, but I forgot which one comes after that, or... Okay, it's that one. So let's see, star, circle, crescent, moon, mm. we got square, and then we got another star and another moon. Shit. Yeah, I'll just brute force this, fuck it. I, I, maybe there was a visual clue somewhere, but I don't see it. And I'm not gonna waste time trying to look for that when I can just finish this now. Alright, what's well, moon? Two moons. There we go. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Yep, another orb. Well, I'm all the way back here. Oh, right, because the chest was here, that makes sense. How close am I to finishing this one? 
Okay. Wait. Okay, there's a second orb in this level. Oh, I didn't realize those pots had gems in them. Should have done that to begin with. So yeah, Little Nightmares 2, um, to be honest, I, I don't remember that many games they shown during it. Like, it was kind of, it was just a, a bit of a snore fest, to be honest. When the Game Awards happens later in the year, I might stream that, because I usually do stream, like, the Game Awards and, like, react to it. And I use the term react loosely, but I do, like, live stream, like, me watching it and, like giving my two cents if I even have, like, that many. But yeah, that won't be until, like, the Game of Wars is around December usually, so that won't be for a few months. Right, here we are back here again. Spend a little bit longer, see if I can find the rest of the gems in that second orb. Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Right, well this is pretty much the end of the level then. Oops. I think I may have messed a few gems up in that direction, so I'm going to try going back up there again. Not sure if there's something in there that I missed. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff down there actually, but let me see. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought that path continued going onwards. Weird how it, like that's kind that's kind of weird that, but whatever. Don't mind me just like being being weird. There are more stairs where the exit is. I'll go back and check that then once I'm done checking this area out. to see you Spyro. Oh, now I wasn't expecting not to be an NPC there. Active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Guess I can knock that guy down. I guess I need to use supercharge. Yeah. No. Pretty sure I hit him there. I had a clunking sound effect. Yeah. There we go. One shot. Yeah, so that dude in the middle can't be killed by Spyro. Instead, you kill. Holy shit! Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. I wasn't expect. Like I thought he was just gonna like poof into like smoke and disappear, but no, they just like straight up fucking murder him with a lightning bolt. Right, okay then, so that's that part done. Let's go back toward the exit and see all orbs collected. I'm guessing the last few orbs are back toward the exit. I think. Did I miss any? Hang on, I, th I think I may have missed a gem or two down here. Let me look around. Yeah, there's a couple here. I went so fast I didn't even collect them all.
you know what game we haven't heard about in a while that I don't think still has a release date? That, um, fuck, what's it called again? The, the Apes, the Apes Exodus, but I forgot what the remake for that one is called. The remake to Ab Apes Exodus. What is that called again? Um, something, shit, the name's escaping me right now. But yeah, that, that remake has been a long time coming, and I think it's coming to PS5 as well, but I haven't heard anything about that in a while. I don't know if it's got a release date yet. Oh wait, the gems you do have to like stand around for sometimes. At least that one I didn't like it didn't like get drawn toward me. In most cases they'll get drawn towards you. Just ten left. Shit. Not sure if I was jumping in the right direction there. I'm guessing the last 10 is just going to be a yellow gem. Isn't there a thing in this game? Like, isn't there, like, some way to make Sparks tell you where the remaining gems are? You can do that, right? I think I remember something like that in Spiral 1, but I forgot how you do that. Maybe some gems are underwater. Um, well, I was underwater earlier. I don't know if I could jump onto that platform over there. I'm trying to see if there's any anything that I can jump slash glide towards. Shit. Yeah, that's not happening. I guess that wasn't... you aren't able to do that. Oh, there it is. Oh, so it's not a yellow gem, sorry. It, wait, maybe it was here? What, what colour is 10? Is it yellow or green? I thought it was yellow, but that one looked green, but I think green is too. Maybe it looks ye uh, green because it was underwater. You know, because yellow plus blue is green. Optical illusions are the best. Right, anyway, that's my first level that I've 100%ed in this game, so that's cool. Let's go to the exit now. Not only did I have all the gems, but I got all the orbs as well. Fantastic. Hopefully I've got enough gems now to buy the next upgrade. That big totem thing just reminds me of like Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot. Right, now I need to find the next the next level, wherever that is. Let me explore around a little bit and see if I can find it. Ouch. 
So yeah, like I said, the, the only thing of that, like, uh, Gamescom live night thing they did last night with Jeff Keighley, the only thing that stood out for me is Little Nightmares 2. Just because I love the first Little Nightmares and I want to play the sequel. And I'll probably stream it as well. The only thing that sucks about Little Nightmares 2 is that it's not coming out this year. It's coming out next February. Which kind of sucks because I was kind of low-key hoping it was going to come out by October. You know, so I could like make it a Halloween game like I did with Little Nightmares 1. Like Little Nightmares 1 was a great game for October. But I'll stream it when it comes out in February, more than likely. It's coming out on like Switch and other consoles and PC. I think it's also coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X, but it's coming to PS4 and uh, the Xbox One as well. Yeah, I don't know how to get to that gem up there. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try landing on that Colossus thing one more time if it doesn't work. Well, I'll... Never mind. I'll figure that out later. Take you to a world where you can find a new talisman? Yeah, sure. I'll take you to a new portal. I guess I found all the levels in this area, so. Oh, hey, look, it's Mr. Moneybags. Hey, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Sure. Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. By the way, I did a little research since the last time I streamed this game. That one, I think I think it was a mouse or something, that one dude that sounded like Cam Clark, that was Cam Clark. I was right. I recognized the voice instantly. It's been a long time, brother! Oh, that just connects to the rest of this level. Okay. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. So wait, how many do I have now? Five? Wait a minute. Let me, let me check. Where do I check my talismans for this area? I mean, I could just do this. So yeah, I've got five, so I'm missing one level and one talisman to go with it. So I guess this would be the level then, Aquaria Towers. So I'm guessing that door is like the boss door. Like once I get these talismans, I just go in there and fight the boss. Or something like that, I don't know. We'll be finding out very soon. Right, so based on the name of this level, I guess it's going to be more focused on water, which is good because then I can use my, my swimming much more. Swimming controls in this game are pretty good. Oh, it's those things again. Those weird minion things. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Oh, hey there, Deej. Oh, so what is that? A sheep? Oh, it's a sheep with a, like a, a what do you call it? Like a water helmet. Either that or it's like a goldfish, uh, a goldfish bowl. Yeah, 
Yeah. Am I supposed to hit that switch to get through here? Oh, I see. Okay. That makes much more sense. 14. Oh, I guess I need to collect these orb things. The little light orbs to get whatever that is. I'm guessing that's like a power up. So yeah, did, did anything noteworthy, like I, I was talking about, like Deej, I was talking about that um, Gamescom thing which I watched this morning and outside of Little Nightmares 2, which I've got my eye on, I, I can't remember anything they've shown, to be honest. There was one game actually that looked interesting, but I forgot what it was called. It was the game where... Um, you, it's basically like very focused on like environmental destruction and it's like a game where you have to like perform a heist but you can like basically break and like lay down a whole bunch of shit to like plan your heist out in a certain way that game looked pretty good oh yeah Sam and Max is coming back apparently that's a VR game that sucks I bet Sam and Max uh, fans feel the same way that Iron Man fans felt when they saw that Iron Man VR game on that state of play. It was like, oh cool, it's an Iron Man game? Oh, it's VR exclusive? Fuck. Rip. Oh, that's not good. Wow, instant death. Teldown is the one you're thinking of. Yeah, that game looks pretty good, actually. I'm a fan of, uh, like, destructible environments. And that one looks like it takes destructible environments to another level. I don't remember if that one had a date or not. I don't think it did. Gonna switch to Twitch because the YouTube chat is slow. Yeah, I mean, uh, Twitch is Twitch has always been like that. Uh, not 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 Twitch. Sorry, uh, my my brain is being bad today. Uh, the YouTube chat has always been slow. There's no like as far as I'm aware, there's no way to fix that. Which sucks. It's slow, but it's never been that slow. Oh, is it slower than usual then? That's weird. I wasn't paying too much attention to how long it was taking between when people send messages and when it shows up. So... And do you have an idea of what the deficit is? Is it like 30, 40 seconds or something like that? Feels closer to a minute to a minute. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a long ass time. Oh yeah, World of Tanks. I was downloading that because I was curious about it. Don't know if I'll stream that game. Apparently World of Tanks is not the best game out there. I remember hearing it by name. But yeah, it's a free-to-play game that was announced during that Nintendo Direct mini presentation thing. And I was like, you know what, free to play, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So I'll let you guys know if I Spyro, like it or not. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. How much? Oh, that's not too bad. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. 
I thought it was going to cost like 5 billion gems or something, but no, 100 is not that bad. I'm guessing I have to drain the water or something to get rid of those sharks because I see like a bunch of gems and chests down there. Oh, oh, oh. I... Wait, did he just walk... I, I didn't press anything on the analog stick there and Spyro just jumped off the edge. I don't know if that was a glitch or if that's supposed to happen, like if that was scripted. Whatever, it's too late now. I was going to check something up there and then Spyro just jumped straight down by himself. Okay, my internet I think is dead now or it's just about to die by the looks of things. I love it when this happens. Right, okay, I'll be back as quickly as possible. Alright, stream should be back on now, I think. Let me just quickly reload my uh, Raystream chat application before we continue. Yeah, sorry about that. You know the deal, my internet loves to do that sometimes, but yeah, we're back now. Oh hey, look, I actually remember to turn off the, the play standby for once. Sometimes I forget and I just leave it up for like an extra minute. So yeah, that, that ain't happening. Not right now. Can I disable the water? No. you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. I'm going to explore a little bit more because I've not even found half of the gems that this level has. And there's like three orbs. I'll see if I can at least get the half the gems and get one orb before I leave this area. Oh. Okay, so there's like a whole outside section as well. That's interesting. Like, I thought the entire level was like within like the corals, but no, there's like an outside, like there's like a seabed section as well. That's pretty cool. I guess that would explain why I haven't found all the gems yet, or like even half of them rather. Just about the right size to ride on his back. Sure. Great. Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. Oh, hey, look, it's flying through ring Superman 64. Or pilot wing 64. Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, so, really, internet? Are we disconnecting again? Hang on, I, I can't pause the game now. Okay, Spyro, please. Ah, stop, please! Is my stream on? Because I noticed that it was saying zero kilobits. Also, I don't know why I failed that the first time. It seemed like I was doing everything right and the game just like suddenly said no. Just dropping frames. Okay. Right, let's try this again. Oh. I think I missed. I missed one, I think. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, I think I got this now. Oh. Yep, I got it. Well done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Right, that wasn't too bad. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, it's this way. I thought I was going the wrong way there for a second. Okay, that down my false try. That wasn't too bad. Incredible! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. Orbs for days. Orbs for days, rather. Right, okay then, let's continue exploring the seabed for a bit. From a distance, I thought this sheep was like one of those blobfish things, but nah, it's a sheep. six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Okay. Four star difficulty for this one. I'm going to finish collecting the gems around here first and I'll start doing that. Oh, so I appear to be dropping frames again. Let me know if the stream is still on. Like, if you see it starting to buffer, please tell me if it's still on or not. Because I, I hate, like, repeating myself and asking over and over. It's constantly hitting zero now, so I'm not even sure if I'm live anymore at this point. Not sure if I got all the gems, I'm just double checking. Oh, there's one. I guess the electricity goes away once you're finished rescuing the, the seahorse. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Went a little bit too fast there. For some reason, I thought I could, like, slam into the fish to recover health. It's just the sheep you can do that to. So commentary will be a bit lacking, like, in terms of, like, talking about stuff other than my, like, me talking about the game I'm playing. 
because I can't think of anything worth talking about. I talked about a lot of shit yesterday when I played Fortnite, but I don't really have anything worth bringing up today, at least not that I can think of. Right, where's tower number three? Oh wait, aren't the other- oh wait a minute, the other towers are inside the, the coral cave, I'm gonna go back there then. Where was- where was that tunnel that takes me back down? Oh, there's more gems up here. Just looking for gems first before I go back down. Does anyone remember how I got up here to begin with? Because I thought, oh wait a minute, there it is. Yeah, I couldn't find the, I couldn't find the tunnel there for a second. It took me back down here. Right, so let's start going through these towers, starting with this one. I can do that now. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm pressing the wrong button. Shape. I wonder if I can kill the sharks with this. That's if I can remember. That's if I can remember where the sharks even are. Nah. I'll come back to that. Let me just focus on the towers for now so I can finish that one up. really bad at like trying not to run into the electric barriers. I keep- I, I have like too much momentum and I just like touch it by accident. I'm not sure if there's like a way to slam the brakes in the water. Oh well, yeah let's not go down there.
Okay, let me check the mini map while I'm over here just to see where those sharks are. So I can remember where they go. I'm gonna see if I can hit the sharks with that fireball thing that I can get. No, I just have to remember where that fireball power up was. And by remember, I mean just like blindly find my way back to Wobbit. Nope, not this way. Why do I keep finding myself going the wrong way? Bear with me. Yeah, let me do that again. I, I keep thinking the door's much further away than that actually is. Oh shit, you actually can kill them with that. Nice. Okay, this will be tower number six, I can tell because I can hear the electric coming from it. Before I do that, is there a sheep nearby? Because uh, Sparks is not looking so hot right now. I mean, I could just brute force this if I felt like it. I'm actively trying not to get hit by the electric. And I find myself failing at every given opportunity. That one, surprisingly, was not that difficult. You did it! Now we can swim in peace! I heard that you're collecting orbs. Please, take this one. Right, so I've got all the orbs for this level now. That's good. Right, let's go kill those other sharks. I might be able to get all the gems as well once I've done that. As soon as I find the way back down again, because I keep forgetting where that is. There it is. Just making sure I'm going. Um, I know where I'm going the first before I, before I start activating the fireball thing. Not going in there. You know what annoys me? When I go into aiming modes, my controls are not inverted, which kind of contradicts the inversion controls when I'm swimming underwater. So it takes me like an extra like couple seconds just to remember, oh yeah, up is up and down is down. 
which is kind of a nuisance because it kind of messes with me a little bit. Like I almost died to that shark there because of that. Okay, so I think I pretty much, I wasted my gems on Mr. Moneybags because that submarine was not really needed. But hey, I got all the stuff underwater at least, or at least all the stuff under that particular uh, portion of the water is what I meant to say. That bit with all the metal sharks. I think I'm just going to leave the level for now and do the next part of the game because I think I'm done exploring this area. I'm still debating with myself whether or not this is going to be a fully 100% playthrough. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Moo. Uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. You can barely see his face with that lighting. Right, so I've got all six talismans in, in this area now, so I guess I can open that door. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, before we open the door, is my stream dead again? Because right now it's saying zero. God, this internet's giving me a fucking migraine. I did the speed test before the stream and I got 15 down, 20 up, which was pretty good. Now it's fucking doing this shit. In fact, you know what? I'm going to turn the stream off anyway. I'm going to try something. I'll be back in a couple minutes, guys. Bear with me. Okay, stream should be back on now. Again, sorry about that. I tried changing some settings with my router to see if that fixes it. Let's see if that fixes it. Well done, Spyro. Now you've got six talismans. This door will open. Right, cool. Crushes dungeon. Right, here we go. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the winter tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There, that's the last orb in place. Now let's see, all we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> that's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? <laughs> Why can't either of you? Where are we? Mm, no dragons. Wonderful. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my. I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Crush, go through the <gasps> portal, you idiot. Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly. <laughs> This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. 
I uh, would have gone after him, but didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? All right, well, that's a little bit of backstory there. So, also, that's a very weird loading screen, just like a, a PNG of like a boss and just like a weird green nucle nuclear filter in the word crush. Okay, here we go, boss time. So, unlike the last Spyro game, this one has actual boss fights. Like, in the last game, boss fights basically constituted just like, I don't know, just like doing very bare bones attacks. Like finding an opening at once and then that was it, they were dead. And then when you fight like Nasty Nork, it was like, you just followed him around like a, a very linear path to like defeat him. But no, this one has like full on boss fights, which is cool. How long have I been streaming for? About an hour. An hour and 20 minutes. Pretty simple boss fight, but it's way more than what the bosses were in the first game at least. There we go. Didn't get hit once. Now crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. Go! Come here now! Destroy him and make sure it's painful! What? Go! Get me out of here! So long, dragon! The guidebook? Okay. Again, we have a loading screen. Just like a fucking PNG. Like, fucking crush.png. <laughs> There's like nothing else here. I'm so used to like the spiral flying to the next world loading screens that this just seems like very weird and like out of place by comparison. Yeah, you missed a lot. This is part two, by the way, if you didn't see the title of the stream. I streamed this about a week ago, and this is my second stream of it. Oh, ahem. That Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. Oh, if Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. I feel like I should recognize Moneybag's voice actor, but I can't quite place that. it. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! Uh, why you... You... And then he broke his spine.
they just mimic the loading screen of the original game. Right, that makes sense. I've never played the original version. Right, okay then, so first boss defeated. I'm guessing this is the second area of the game. Crystal Glacier. I think I may have mentioned it before, but um JB Blank, what did they do again? Like what voices are they known for doing usually? In 2013 he voiced Zinyak and Philip Warren in Saints Row 4. I'd never played that one, so that that doesn't ring a bell, sorry. He was also in Darksiders. Oh, okay then. I've only played the first Darksiders, but I never finished it. I feel like I've heard that butler voice somewhere before, but I can't really place it right now. Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for a, a small fee. Nah. Okay, you can come back and learn later. But if you had any idea how much treasure there is in Zephyr, you'd pay double what I'm asking. I mean, it would just be 400 gems, so... If you level so far, it's like 400 gems. Skip. Was that say Skelos Badlands? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the Glacier one for now. Breeze Harbor. Quite a few levels around here. Yeah, let's do the Glacier one first since that's the first one I saw. Yep. Again, I love how the Switch version just like crawls to a snail's pace during the loading screens. For at least for a moment, like the animation goes very slow, then it goes back to normal again. He was Dojima in Persona 4. Really? I. M maybe? That might be where I'm getting that from. Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. I think this game has like several like m not not like AAA voice actors, but like some well-known ones. Like Cam Clark is in it. I didn't properly check out the IMDb to see who else was in this game's voice a acting cast. But I feel like there's several voices that I'm hearing in this game that I recognise, but I can't quite figure out where they're from. Are we still talking about the money bags, VA? Um, I was just talking about the voice acting in general. Because I recognised one of them, like one of the random characters at the start of the game was voiced by Cam Clark. The dude who voices Liquid in Metal Gear Solid. He also voiced Leonardo from the 1980s TMNT cartoon.
I'm not the most knowledgeable when it comes to like voice actors and what they do, but there are some voice actors that I do know very well in terms of like what the, what they do. Like for example, Mike Pollock, Eggman, I recognize um, his voice. And he's done things outside of like Eggman from Sonic, but that's like the thing he's most well known for ever since he voiced him from uh, Sonic X. Watch! We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. Is Rob Paulson in this game? Because Rob Paulson's like another noteworthy like voice actor. I'm gonna have to look up the IMDB page again to see who's actually in this. Again, I only looked up the IMDB page briefly just to see if Cam Clark was in this game's voice cast, and I didn't look into it beyond that. Tom Kenny is SpongeBob, he voices Spyro. Oh, that's cool. for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracos I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. It's such a smug ass face. That money bags. Also, oh, that's a pretty cool looking bridge. I wonder if we'll ever get a Spyro 4. I could see that happening. Because for the last, like, few years, it seems like Activision's just, like, bringing the franchises back. Because we had, like, the remasters of Crashes 1 through 3, and then Crash Team Racing, and then Spyro remasters. So, yeah, I think once, but, like, maybe, like, a year or so after uh, Crash 4 comes out, we'll get, like, a Spyro 4. But it's not going to be by Toys for Bob. They're working on Crash 4, I guess. Beanox or somebody would work on, like, the next Spyro game, possibly? I don't know. I'm, I'm just spitballing. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look out below. I hear that, um, like, the Crash series really goes downhill after the original trilogy. I mean, not only have I heard it, but I know it because I've seen, like, I've watched all of Kid Icarus's videos on, like, the old Crash games. In fact, he recently did, like, a retrospective where he looks at all the Crash games again. Because they did individual reviews for like a bunch of like Crash games after the original trilogy, but he also did like a a bigger video looking at the, all the games individually. What was that one game? Uh, th there was like one game where you like worked together with like Cortex. What was that game called again? Because that was like probably the most fucking weird one out of the bunch. Like, that game had, like, an a cappella soundtrack, which is pretty cool, actually. I like that. To Insanity? Yeah, that's the one. I don't know if I would ever... Like, eventually I'll play Crash 2 and 3 and then 4. That won't be anytime soon, but I wonder if I would ever, like, even bother checking out, like, anything after Crash 3. Like, the games that came out between Crash 3 and Crash 4. 
can't speak to these dudes. Bill Shell? Speaking of Kid Icarus, he released a new video yesterday. Um, a video about a bunch of LEGO games. It's like, I've been I've been talking lately about how like Kid Icarus has just been killing it with YouTube video content and his videos have been getting like really fucking big. When I said that a couple months ago, his videos were like 30-40 minutes long. This video is a full fucking hour long. It's like, Jesus Christ Kid Icarus, are you really that like desperate to make content that you're making like hour long videos now? I mean, not that I'm complaining, it's like quality content, but that's a lot of fucking commitment to make like an hour video inside of like a two month period. Missed a couple things back here. My favourite video from Kid Icarus this year has to be the one where he talks about that one dude. What was his name again? The guy that did that weird video review series on, like, public broadcast or something. I forgot the dude's name. It's escaping my mind. Did, did, did we know what that guy was called? He did, like, Gaming in the Clinton Years. Like, that video. Yeah, Gaming in the Clinton Years. I, f I forgot if that dude's name was actually known. Like, the dude that does the voiceover for those videos. But yeah, the Gaming in the Clinton Years video was like probably my favorite one this year. I've watched that like multiple times at this point. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they're infested with multiplying draclets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. Do you think you can get rid of them for us? Great! But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. Ah! Wrong button. I thought the Y button was fire in midair. It actually cancels flight. I guess the A button is fire when you're in flight mode. Yeah, it's A button. Yeah! Yeah, miss. Yeah, miss! Crap. Yeah, kind of fucked up. Can't you jump out of that green liquid? I think it's a death animation. Like, as soon as you see the stars above Spyro's head, I think you're basically dead. But yeah, Kid Icarus is gr like rapidly, like I've, I've been watching him for years now, like many many years, like a decade at this point. But he's become like one of my like favourite like YouTubers now, like up there with like JonTron and ABGN. Like he's that fucking good. Which is funny because you can tell he was inspired by those people, but now he's like almost on the same level as them, it's kind of crazy how far he's come in terms of like content creation. Ah! Oh, you can jump out of that. That's weird. I didn't know you could do that. Well, thanks for telling me that, Green Yoshi guy. I had no idea that was even a thing in this game. We used to give guys yeah. There we go. You have saved us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. I'm trying to think of like the very first Kid Icarus video I ever saw because I didn't watch him from the start obviously since he used to be like a really small channel. I learned about him, I don't know, like, well, I've got such a shit memory, I don't remember, but I'm trying to remember the very first video I saw that he reviewed. I think it was 100 Dalmatians or some shit like that, what was it called? It was like 
Oh, Dalmatian 3. It was Dalmatian 3. That was the first video I ever saw him do. That really shitty, like, PlayStation 2 game where they have, like, a rip-off cover of, like, Coella DeVille on the front of the cover. That was the game that I saw the review of. After that, I started binging all of his older shit, and then I subscribed to him. And the rest of the say is history. Just getting all the gems that I missed back here. Oh, I can't go up there. Right, never mind. Uh, how do I leave this? Oh, right, here we go. Your first video was Destruction Derby 2. Destruction Derby... I remember the first one, like, a long time ago. Like, I didn't have PlayStation growing up, like I said, but... I knew somebody that had a PlayStation and they had like Tomb Raider and they had um, Crash they had Crash Bandicoot, they had Tomb Raider and they had Destruction Derby 1. That was my memory of Destruction Derby by playing their copy and I remember that like uh, that game mode where it's just essentially just like old. Like the, that game has two modes, it's like you've got a racing mode where you can like smash into each other while crisscrossing along the track. And then you've got like traditional destruction derby where it's just like a big ring of death. I remember the latter modes more than the former modes. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this level now. We'll maybe come back to that later. I got most of the stuff there. All right, then. It was two. Right, okay, then. Yeah, I thought one had both modes as well, but yeah, I guess that that friend of mine from a long time ago had two. Okay. But yeah, I didn't grow up as a PlayStation person. I grew up as a Nintendo person. So there was like a, like I had this conversation the last time how I eventually discovered what Klonoa was and I played it and I loved it. But I didn't play the original version of Klonoa. Of course I played like the Wii remake of it when that came out. God, I hope that game like that Wii remake gets like a remaster on Switch. I would be down for that. There has been like rumors that there might be like a, a Klonoa remastered coming to modern platforms. I would be... I would definitely buy that if it comes to Switch. It really sucks that the original, like, Klonoa remastered on Switch didn't really... I don't feel like reading what he's going to say there. It really sucks that the original, like, Klonoa on the Wii did not do well performance-wise, like, sales-wise. Because that was, like, a very high-quality remake. Like, that was before, like high effort remakes of like classic games were even a thing like before games like this existed so it was a very risky move on like uh, Namco Bandai's part to like do a full blown remastering remake no, not just a remaster it was a complete remake of the first game it had like voice acting and everything but yeah I guess they like the previous Klonoa games were on the PlayStation consoles, but I guess they went with the Wii just because the Wii was selling so well. So I guess that seemed like the easy option for them. It was like, oh, the Wii is like 
a billion people have the Wii, let's put it on that. It'll sell well. And then it fucking, like, sells less than 100,000 or something. Oof. Oh, jeez. <laughs> fucking, like, bald eagles, like, throwing fucking nuke missiles my way. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. You suffered some frame drops on this one. You played the Steam version, though, didn't you? Yeah, these missiles I'm not paying attention to. Shit. Zack and Wiki, that was a pretty good Wii game. I was never able, I, I was never, I, I never was able to finish that game though because I got stuck in it. Like, some of the puzzles in that game are, like, really fucking creative, but sometimes the game gets really difficult because you have to, like, think outside the box, essentially, to figure out the solution. But yeah, I got, I got stuck at some point in that game and I just gave up, but it's a really fucking good game. Zack and Wiki should get a second chance as well. I don't think that game sold well on... on with, yeah. I don't think that game sold well on the, on the Wii either, now that I think about it. I can't even hit these dudes. Yeah, let's not bother with that then. Dying cannon just ain't working for me. Do you think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. The Wii had a lot of, like, underrated games, like, good gems that you wouldn't think the Wii would have, because when people think of, like, the Wii and its legacy, obviously you'll think of Wii Sports and, like, how a billion people bought the Wii because of the, the novelty of using, like, this weird, like, one-shaped controller to play everyday sports. And the other, like, big part of, like, that console's legacy is, like, shovelware, because, again, the console sold unbelievably well to the point that just everybody was like dumping like shovelware shit on there. But there is like some genuinely great games on the system outside of like everything Nintendo put on there, of course. Like No More Heroes, No More Heroes 2, those are like excellent games. Again, I would love to see them get released on Switch. And then like I said, Zack and Wiki and Klonoa. There's probably a couple other games as well, but I can't really think of them right now. You dick. At least I got rid of the bald eagles. Can't seem to jump on top of that, which is weird. Your personal wee hidden gem was Marasuma the Demon, the Demon Blade. 
I think I've heard of that one, but I don't know if I've played that or seen it. I've heard the, I've probably heard the name somewhere. Am I up to full health? I am not. Nope, still not full health. Yeah, there's been some rumors about No More Heroes. Like, I, th I think, like, No More Heroes 1 got rated or something like that. Which seemed to point toward there being, like, a remaster or re-release of the first game. Which I guess would make sense, because outside of PlayStation 3, those games have never been re-released. Like, I don't think No More Heroes 2 has ever been re-released, except... Sorry, I can't, I, can't, I can't get my words straight. I'm, I'm trying to think of how to word this. No More Heroes 1 got re-released on PlayStation 3. No More Heroes 2 never got a re-release. That's what I meant to say. Here's the weird thing. No, no More Heroes 1 on the PlayStation 3 has like extra unlockable bosses and it's like some of the bosses from NMH2. So it's not like they couldn't, like, re-release the second game, I guess they just didn't feel like it. So they were like, eh, let's just put some of the bosses from the second game in here as an extra. We're shooting down Tingle's bowling everyone. Koryumpa! And now it's just Donkey Kong. It's on like Donkey Kong. Oops. I like the music in this area, it's pretty nice. I guess that missile cannot hit me. I'm bound to hit one eventually if I just keep spamming. I got one. There we go. <laughs> it only took me like 50 shots, but I got him.
still don't have the ability to climb ladders just yet. The fuck is that? What are you? A cookie dough elephant? Oh wow, I can't even kill it. Weird. I'm guessing that's relating to the side quest. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I've lost my cowlix. With these battles going on all of the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? Get five cowlicks back into the pen, okay? So that that's what these things are. Yeah, just fucking yeet him back in there. How many do I have to bring back again? Five. Oh yeah, it's five. Right, okay then. Two more. on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Let me see if I can get up to where that seed was. See what that's all about. Alright, I'll see you later, MSP. Oof. Oh, so that's a weird noise in the music where it just goes air. You can throw them very far. Perfect angle shot there. Almost. Get up there. Come on. Cookie dough elephant, please.
Ah, oh, piss off. Mm. That's annoying, trying to get that up there. I'm trying to, like, hit it while it's in midair. I don't know if you can do that. But I, but I can't seem to, like, line myself up correctly to do so. difficult. That's probably not what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I'm supposed to take it up there and then shoot it across. But I was trying to do it the, you know, the cheesy way, I guess. I mean, it worked with the other one, but I can't seem to do it with this one, so I'm just going to do it this way. I hope that other one didn't despawn. Oh! Don't you dare walk off the edge. And then I fall off instead. I was trying to nudge him on there. Because he seemed to be stuck on the ledge. There we go. Right, there we go. We're in business. This is one of your least favorite side quests, check and see why. There we go. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something for, you know, the effort. See, getting the first three wasn't so bad, but the last two was annoying. There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere. But I haven't seen them in days. Nah, I'll do that later. If I leave this level and come back, do I have to get the first five again, or do they stay in the pen? Nope, not gonna reach that. What is this? I guess I need an ability for that. Oh, it's this dude. Spyro, my boy. I've got a magic bean. I mean, seed for you in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? I guess that's what I have to use to do that. That, that one part that I saw like a second ago, I guess it's for that. Yeah, just eat it. Right, that makes sense. Just making sure I didn't miss anything up there. It's safer just to do it, to be honest. Yeah, I'll probably get the other two before I leave the level.
can't see any... Can't see any other... Oh, wait, there's one right here. Oh. I think I done fucked. I done goofed. Is there any other seeds nearby that I didn't see because I don't know where to get another one? There's a one down here somewhere. Misplaced your seeds, have you? I can make all the plants shrink again if you'd like to start over. Yes, please. Here you go. Yeah, because I, I think I screwed up there. That was not how you were supposed to do that. Yeah. You can burn the stalks to transform them back into seeds. Oh, okay. Thank you. I didn't realize you could do that. Right, so now that I know I can do that, let me go and grab that other seed and then get the seed back from that, if that makes sense. Because I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing and then I can grab that. Yeah, the professor didn't tell me that for some reason. You'd think he would have told me that. But now he's just like, would you like me to reset the, the, the things again? Yes or no? By the way, when you run and jump, you have to like immediately start gliding because if you if you like jump if you hold down the jump button after running for too long, you cannot glide. I keep doing that by accident. weird. Not as weird as falling through like a, a solid metal block like I did the last time, but whatever. Why? Why? Why is the collision not being nice to me with that one? There we go. Probably should kill these guys, they've probably got some gems. No, actually. I thought they would have dropped some gems for me if I killed them.
There we go. Well done, my boy. Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Right, so once I'm done with this level, I'm going to move on to Hypnospace Outlaw in a little bit, so I don't know if anyone wants to stick around for that. Up to you. But yeah, I've been playing this for nearly two hours now, so I'm going to be moving to the next game very shortly. I don't see... Sorry, I'm, lo I'm looking for the next place to place this seat. That's what I'm looking for. Did I screw up already? Was I not supposed to do that first one? Oh, wait a minute. I see. I see what's going on now. Then I go back, get the second one, that makes sense. Shit. She looks like one of those, but well, well, not exactly. For some reason, she makes me think of that movie Real. Anyone ever seen that movie? I think I brought that up before on stream. That's a pretty decent film. But yeah, she just makes me think of like one of those bird characters from Real. One of them blue jays or whatever they're called. No, not blue jays. I forgot the name of the species. So what are those last two cow-like things that I'm supposed to be looking for? Because I don't know where they are. Does the minimap does the minimap indicate where they are? And if so, what what are they indicated by? Like what donates one of those cows? Is it the orange circles? Or is it the yellow circles or what? Here. Yeah. I'm looking around in case there's any gems that I missed. The last two should be in an area new to the cow like farm. Right, okay, so somewhere I've not been then. How oh, I've missed my Romeo! If he wasn't so short, we'd get married. <laughs> You've reunited me with Juliet! Oh, now we can take our honeymoon in Idle Springs. It's near it. Right, okay. Guess I'll look around then. Right, so I'll do it. I'll look for the last two cows and then I'm going to stop after that. Oh wait, I can break that. I didn't realize. Sorry, I thought that was an open door there. I didn't realize that was shut. There we go. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a very cartoony, like, fucking Looney Tunes thing there. Just a tree full of fucking, like, red dynamite boxes. Wow, what an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the Breeze Builder defenses. Good job, soldier. It's, uh, hang on, it should be past the farm. Not entirely sure where part past the farm is. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the minimap. I see a little extra thing over here. Wow, why, why did I think it was there? Oh, you need to climb to get to it? Right, well, I can't do that now then. That sucks. I don't have the ability to claim yet, so I won't be able to finish that one. See, this is why I'm not sure if this is going to be a 100% completion. Because if I come back here later, I'm going to have to do the first five again before I get the last two. So, yeah, not, not entirely sure about that. Again, we'll play it by ear. Maybe I will end up doing a full 100% completion of this game. I'm still thinking on that. I'll tell you this though, as far as the collectathon aspect goes, it's still really fun to play. Like it's very like it's a game that leaves me in a very zen like state just because I enjoy these kind of games so much. How did I get back up there again? Sorry, I, I forgot how I got up to that platform. Okay, that was pointless. I've... I've honestly forgotten how to get up. Oh, wait a minute, it's this way. Right. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot that was tucked away in the corner there that takes you around this way. Yeah, so we'll, we'll maybe come back to that one. Who knows? Maybe I'll eventually do that. I haven't... I've barely got, like, half the gems in this level as well. So I'm just going to put a pin in that one for now. Speaking of classic Looney Tunes gags. Oh yeah, one other thing the Gamescom thing did last night, I forgot about this, they're showing like a preview of Season 2 for uh, Fall Guys. And it's going to be like medieval themed and it's like new costumes and new levels and stuff. So I guess that's cool. I need to get back into playing some more uh, Fall Guys. I've only streamed it like twice. So maybe I'll do some of that next week because I've been like slacking on that game lately. I mean, season two is still like several weeks away, but I need to like start leveling up the battle pass thing in it. So I think I'm going to try to make an effort to do that this coming week. But yeah, I think for now I'm just going to stop here, so I quite enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to doing more Spyro 2, and I hope you guys look forward to watching me do some more of that in the near future.